How you doing, guys? Steve Laff here. Just figured I'd do a little vlog, little chat type of thing. Uh, it is September 25th, 2016. Sunday night, probably about 5.30. Uh, just do a little quick little vlog here, a couple of things. Um, I got invited to a, te a Takeo Circulator-New Equipment Seminar. And I just want to give you a couple of insights of what what the what they're coming out with, what I was told, uh, my feelings on some of the stuff. Um, basically, what they're coming out with is ECM circulators, which is um, basically the way they're designed is they got a magnetic coil inside uh, the new circulators. The old circulators weren't like that. They didn't have a magnetic coil inside there. The new ones now, the new circulators are coming out with ECM circulators. supposed to be the new thing now. Um, you could take them apart and you could feel the magnet pulling, you know, in and out. So the new circulators that are coming out with now have like a magnet inside there. So you, you'll see where I'm going with this, you know, after I continue and, and, and finish this this uh, this little chat I got going on. So, yeah, they showed us how, it, how, it's, how it's set up and it's got the magnet and it's going to save electricity. And um, they go on and on and, uh, you know, they went over a couple of new circulators they come out with now, different variable speed ones, which make a lot of sense. They got a new variable speed circulator. I don't know if you could see it here. I'll try to put it up here so you could see. Uh, this one here, I'm going to put my glasses on so I can. This variable speed circulator right here, the VR1816. I think this is going to be a very good circulator for like if you have zone valves. If you have a uh, uh, hydraulic heating system, well, like six zone valves on one circulator. This would be an ideal circulator for the house. The reason being is you can set it um, for different settings. Say if you, it, it goes by, let me take it to the other chart here. Just bear with me. I guess sometimes it can get a little confusing. They give us this little chart here, this little spin chart. And if you go to the circulator, uh, um, the zone valve part, okay? So you got five. 10 and 15 you got 5 10 and 15 on the circulated dial okay they measure the whole entire length of copper pipe in the house if you got 85 feet of total length of copper pipe you know that's copper pipe and baseboard radiation you know you would set it on five so you'd set it on five like this okay you set this circulator on number five if you had 165 feet of total copper you know copper and radiation combined you'd set it on 10 and 245 i don't know if you can see that i don't know if you can see that or not. i'll try to put a close-up for you guys can see it if you had 245 feet okay you'd set it on number 15 now if you set this thing all the way to max like this on the new circulator it would run, you know, continuously, like the, the new 007. The new 007 runs continuous. So I think that this circulator, I think this, I think this circulator right here, this VR1816 variable speed adjustable circulator, is very good if you got zone valves. Okay, this is going to be a new thing. Now, this is the magnetic type also. So, just bear with me with the magnetic type. Okay. Now, the new 007 is coming out. I got a picture over here. The new 007E is basically a single speed circulator. just like the old 007. But it's got the ECM motor, which has got the magnet in there, which... Um, you know, gives you better efficiency, which I guess they're gonna they're saying if you have three circulators and you run it for the whole season, you'll save like uh, I don't know twenty or forty dollars for the whole season with three circulators. So it does it is a savings. Um, I think it's uh, if you only have one double O seven, it's not worth changing. Now, the only drawback that I find that after he went through this whole spiel and he told us about these circulators and 
how the new circulators are going to come to after be ECM in so many years, so they're doing a switch over. He goes, he goes and says, if you have a, you know, a system that has a lot of black pipe in it, a lot of old-fashioned radiators, what you got in there is you got a lot of magnetic sediment inside inside the system because it's, you know, it's all steel pipe and, and, and black radiators and stuff. And he says, what ha what can happen is that magnetic part of the circulator can attract the metal, okay, metal shavings and metal sludge or whatever, and pull it into the circulator. So I'm saying to myself, why would they design something that's got a magnet on it, you know, and they're putting it in a, in a system that has, you know, metal shavings and rust and metal metal oxide or whatever it is. There's a lot of metal in the system, especially if it's a steel pipe system or it's an old radiator system. So then, you know, uh, he goes on and says, oh, we make this special trap that you're going to put on the return. And the homeowners are going to go down there once a month and, and pull this pull this magnetic thing out and clean clean this out once a month. So I'm saying to myself, why the hell would would, would they design something that's got a magnet in it? Now, uh, now you have to install this uh, magnetic device on the return to catch all the, the sediment coming back. Instead, of, if, if you don't put that, it's all going to get pulled into the circulator. Well, they do have a barrier here. They got this, um, they got this bio barrier. Oh, you can see it. Bio barrier. Protects the circulator system from contaminants. And what that does is that's supposed to, it's like a little, a little ring that's in there, a little, a little ring that's supposed to stop the metal from pulling into the pump. But he says that's not going to be sufficient if you've got an old system that has, you know, a lot of black pipe in it. You have to put this, this device on the return, and basically it's got a big magnet on it. And what it does is the water goes through it, and, um... Any kind of metal debris or anything will get pulled into this magnet. And you got to physically go down there once a month and clean this thing out once a month he's staying. So I'm saying to myself, who, who homeowner is going to go down there and clean this out? It's, it's almost like it's a, you know, a steam system. You go to go down there and blow the low water cutoff off once a month. It's the same, 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 same type of setup. Now, this is all new technology. Embrace the technology, like some, like some blowfish would say. Embrace the technology. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I'm not going to be putting these circulators on any old system that's, you know, has a lot of black pipe, uh, a lot of cast iron radiators. I'm not going to be putting this type of circulator on it because you're just asking for trouble. It's a magnetic coil in there now. And, you know, the old 007s, the old 0010s, they didn't have no magnetic coil. They didn't have nothing to pull pull the sediment into, in, into the circulators. You know, I don't know where the hell they come up with this design. You know, these rocket scientists always trying to reinvent the wheel and they come up with all this crazy stuff. I'm not a big, I've not, I didn't buy any of these yet. I haven't installed them, but I'm not a big fan of them. If you have a whole copper system, you know, you got a boiler and you got all copper fin or all PEX, uh, copper radius, you're probably not going to, there's not a problem there. I'm not, I'm not saying that part of it. Okay. So if you got a boiler, uh, especially the new boilers, you know, uh, the new boilers are all little, you know, uh, stainless steel or aluminum house. Most of them are stainless steel. And then the, yeah, everything else is, is copper and brass. You know, you got all copper fin radiators and stuff. You're not going to have that problem with these circulators. I'm talking the old stuff. A lot of the old stuff I work on is, um, you know, old vintage stuff. The system's been in for 50 years. You know, it's all black pipe. Uh, old-fashioned radiators, you know, old cast iron radiators and stuff, and it, it's all metal. You know, there's a lot, there's a lot of, lot of rust and sediment in that system that you can't flush all that. You'll never flush it all out. Now you go and stop putting these 007s and all these different circulators that got these magnetic devices in them. Guess where all that rust sediment and stuff is gonna go? It's gonna get pulled right into that mag. What, what, what happens when you put a magnet and steel together? Steel comes right to the magnet, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, the guy's saying, well, you can install this on the return. It's only, the three-quarter one's only $250, he's saying. It's like, well, most of my returns are inch and a quarter, inch and a half. Well, what's the price on that? What about my labor? Oh, you know, these guys are installing these things left and right, and we haven't really had any problems, but this but this device is made for this, this problem in particular. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying that, um... I'm not a big fan of the mag, you know, it's going to save electricity, 
It's the ECM. So the, how they made the ECM circulator is they, they put a magnet in there is what they did so once once it starts up the magnetic field in there is less resistance is what it amounts to with the magnet and when the circulator is running there's less resistance means less electricity less amps everything it's gonna it's gonna save on electricity but you know the drawback of putting it on an old system i guess you i guess we'll find out in the future you know it's what's gonna happen uh, they got a big rebate on uh, you buy buy three get one free and uh, there's all kinds of rebates that are going on with these new circulators. They also came out with a new water feeder. And this replaces the 911s, which it's it's all replaceable. All the parts are replaceable now. Okay, you can take it apart. You can see the uh, this is the, this is the feed this is the adjustment part right here for the feeder. And this is the backflow preventer over here. You could take all these parts out and replace just these parts. They say once the housing's in, you don't have to um, replace it. And the only thing I could see that might be a problem is, let me see if I can get this thing right over here. You see over here, this is this is where the nipple's going to be coming out into the supply. It's going to have to be a real long nipple. If not, this, this piece is going to hit the riser. Let me see if I can do this right. Usually what you have is you got a riser coming up on a supply, and then you just tap this into the riser, you know, or on the expansion tank or wherever you want to put it. But this thing here sticks out way on an angle here if you see it. So if you had if you had putting this on, on a supply riser, you'd really need a long nipple here. Instead of a close nipple and, uh, you know, a 911S, you just put a close nipple there, and it would be fine because everything comes straight off the bottom of the, the regular feeders. You know, this this one here comes on an angle. So if you do put it on, you know, an existing tapping, you're going to need a real long brass nipple here to get this away from. Either that or you're going to turn it on an angle. I don't know if you guys can understand what I'm saying, but I'm not a big fan of this design. You know, they should have had this coming down more of an angle coming down this way. You know, but coming out this way, it's kind of really... I don't know. I don't think it. I don't think it's a good design that the, the replace the 911 uh, S's. I don't know. But it is what it is. It's Taco's new design. Um. I guess we're gonna have to embrace the technology. <laughs> embrace the technology. And also the new Taco um, zone valves, the four wire zone valves. They got the solder type. They got the pro press type. Comes with the wiring instructions on the back. It's supposed to be a real good valve. I have worked on some of these before. I'm gonna replace the old style um, zone valve heads. So yeah, they're they're making a big change, and we'll see how it goes. They gave me a nice hat. I got a hat down solder. But like I said, this circulator, this circulator is going to be really good for a zone valve system. The VL1816. These thermostatic radiator valves are more like, you would see this stuff more in Europe than we do over here. I can spin this here for the zone valves. You can spin this here for the zone valves um, to set to set the circulator where you want it. If you had a zone valve system and you wanted to to ramp up and ramp down the circulator, you know, you would go by the the, the copper footage like I said right there. See the copper footage, and you would set it. <clears throat> this old, these these three settings over here are for um, if you had thermostatic. Uh, these three settings on this side if you had uh, thermostatic radiator valves, which would be over in Europe more so than around here, so. And if you took this this valve and you turned it all the way to max, you turn it into a, double, a 007, basically, you know, a fixed speed circulator. Right here, fixed speed. Fixed 
fixed speed circulator like the 007 see put it right there that would be a fixed speed circulator file barrier protection that's what we're going to be concerned about with all the metal debris inside the system so just something to think about guys you know if you're going to be put, replacing a regular 007 when what in a new 007 circulators and it's in an old system with a lot of black pipe a lot of old radiators just just think about where you put that you put that new circulator in there and the homeowner calls you back two months later the circulator's not spinning you go there you might have to pull that circulator all apart and pull all kinds of metal debris out of there you know <laughs> not something i'd want to do you know me as an installer i go to a job you know i go to a job and it's got a bad circulator all right, so drain the system down. We're changing the circulator. We're going to get this guy heat or hot water. We change the circulator, and we want something put in there that we're not going to have problems with in the future. You throw one of these new magnetic circulators in there, um, you know, it runs good for a month, two months. All of a sudden, the, the homeowner's calling you back. Hey, that new circulator put in ain't working. You go there, it's all full of me metal shavings and metal rust and stuff because it's magnetic. What are you going to do? Pull it apart, clean it out, get it back going again. It's going to last, last another month, two months, and you'll be back again. That's something I'm I'm going to try to stay away from these circulators uh, in an old system. That's gonna, that's me. We'll have to go with something else. If this is all I can get. But anyway, just wanted to do a quick little vlog of my thoughts of the uh, Taco Comfort Solution. New technology. I haven't I haven't bought any, I haven't put any in. But it's just problems I could see in the future that's gonna be an issue. We'll see. Time will tell. Alright guys, I wanna thank you for watching. Alright guys, it's kinda like in between seasons here. It's uh been like sixty four here all day as the highest. So it's getting it's getting down in the thirties at night, really getting cold. So Heating season's on its way. Before you know it, I'm going to be assholes and elbows and, and working on boilers and stuff. And hopefully, you know, that's what I'm going to be posting. Whatever I work on. Oh, man. Look who it is. It's the baby dog, man. She's my friend. She's my friend. How's my girl? Oh, man. Look at her. Do you want to go out? You want to go out? Oh, yeah, I know you do. You love to go out and push out a fritz. Oh, man. Nick Lim. What a rip. What a rip. Come on. What a rip, potato chip. She's gonna push out a fret, y'all. Oh man, he did the dirty deed. <laughs> Come on, you done? Oh man, he's gonna doing a dance, doing a dog, doing a doggy dance. Let's see you do the dance. Oh man, oh yeah, you love daddy. Oh man. Nick Lil, Nick Lil.